Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Dark-skinned models are rare in the modern fashion industry. However, due to her self-confidence, optimism and self-reliance, Alec Weck, a former refugee, has leaped over many traditional stereotypes and standards for women working in the field. Continue watching to find out more. Assalamu alaikum means peace be upon you in Urdu, one of the official languages of Pakistan. Darling viewers, I'm Atif. The people of lively Pakistan love that your beauty stems from the inside out. Welcome to our program, Successful Refugees and Immigrants Leading the Way, Part 2, Supermodel Alec Wick. For various reasons, throughout history, people have been forced to leave their homelands and find refuge in other countries, thus allowing them to rebuild their lives and reclaim their dignity. Others have voluntarily migrated to other nations simply for better educational or economic opportunities. There are countless stories of those overcoming many adversities and succeeding in enhancing their new surroundings with their immense skills and talents. Many have made notable contributions to their adopted countries in the fields of art, economy, education, science, sports, etc. In this series, Successful Refugees and Immigrants Leading the Way, we will profile prominent individuals who have enriched the nations to which they have arrived and contributed to the greater good of our world. Today, we will introduce another outstanding refugee, Alec Weck who left Sudan as a teenager and is now regarded as one of the world's foremost supermodels. Compassionate in nature, she is also a humanitarian activist. Alec was born in what is now South Sudan on April 16, 1977 and is the seventh of nine children. Their family's two-bedroom home did not have electricity or running water. Miss Wegg was only nine years old when the internal strife began in Sudan, and their Dinka ethnic heritage put the family at risk. To avoid the civil conflict, Miss Wegg and her younger sister were forced to flee to London, UK in 1991. Two years later, they were joined by their mother and three more of their eight siblings. Arriving in London at age 14, Miss Wake was unable to speak English. Despite the loss of family, like her father and relatives, she never lost hope. Her dad, an education official, used to remind her that learning is key. When he was alive, he told her, you can lose almost everything but you can never lose your knowledge. Therefore, Miss Weck enrolled in the London College of Fashion and studied fashion business and technology. In 1995, four years after moving to England, Miss Weck was discovered at an outdoor market in the London suburb of Crystal Palace by a scout for the famous agency Model Swan. The following year, Miss Weck was signed by the Ford Modeling Agency and started to work the show in New York, USA and took part in Italy's Milan Fashion Week. 
her unique appearance, a bony skin, gap-toothed smile, and ballerina's legs caused a stir. In 1995, she made her on-screen debut by appearing in the music video for the James Bond film Golden Eye. The following year, she had another cameo, this time in the God Till Is Gone music video by prominent American singer, songwriter, actress and dancer Janet Jackson. In 1997, Miss Wake was tasked with opening and closing the Messiah themed collection by Ralph Lauren at New York Fashion Week. In November of that year, she appeared on the cover of Elle magazine, the first black model ever. In contrast to the widely held belief at that time that covers featuring women of color didn't sell, this issue was very popular and prompted a huge reader response. For example, one subscriber said, When I saw your recent cover featuring a proud and radiant Alec Wake, I nearly cried. Miss Wake was also named Model of the Year by MTV in 1997. In addition to Elle magazine, Miss Wake also appeared on the cover of many other notable publications, such as Glamour, Cosmopolitan, ID, Forbes Magazine Africa, and Ebony, as well as being featured in the editorials in the American and British editions of Vogue. In 2002, Miss Wake played the Sudanese princess, Akol, alongside Jaimon Musun in the movie The Four Feathers. On September 17, 2015, Miss Wake worked for Marc Jacobs in the spring-summer 2016 New York Fashion Week at the Ziegfeld Theatre in New York City. Also that year, due to her achievements, Miss Wake was profiled by the BBC's 100 Women television series that features some of the most inspirational and influential women worldwide. In May of the following year, Miss Alec appeared on four special edition covers of El Brazil. She was named Model of the Decade by ID Magazine, selected as one of the People Magazine's 50 Most Beautiful People, and picked as one of the 50 Most Influential Faces in Fashion by both ID and the Frank Magazines. We will now pause a moment for an important message and then return. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to our program, Successful Refugees and Immigrants Leading the Way, Part 2, Supermodel Alec Wake. Miss Wake's influence goes far beyond the fashion arena. The supermodel is also a humanitarian activist and a prominent philanthropist. She has been a missionary for World Vision's program to end HIV AIDS, an ambassador for Doctors Without Borders and the U.S. Committee for Refugees, advisory councils, advisory board member on issues related to Sudan. Alec has also devoted her time to causes of the United Nations International Children's Emergency Fund or UNICEF and spoken before the United States Congressional Black Caucus about refugees. Alec Weck has not forgotten her roots. In July 2012, she went back to her homeland with the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, or UNHCR, to celebrate the first anniversary of her nation's establishment and highlight the enormous efforts needed to build the country. On June 17, 2013, she was appointed as a goodwill ambassador by the UNHCR. As a former refugee, Miss Wake understands the feeling of being forced 
to leave her home. Today, she uses her story and platform to advocate on behalf of the displaced, migrants and refugees, and support the life-saving endeavors of UNHCR. In October 2013, the H&M Conscious Foundation, an independent non-profit global foundation, initiated work for three prioritized global issues, education, clean water, and strengthening women. To do this more effectively, the foundation appointed Alec Weck as its official ambassador in 2014. Ms. Weck said, all three of these issues have directly affected my home country of South Sudan. So it is with a sense of pride that I am happy to lend my voice to the H&M Conscious Foundation. Dark-skinned models are rare in the modern fashion industry. However, due to her self-confidence, optimism, and self-reliance, Alec Wake, a former refugee, has leaped over many traditional stereotypes and standards for women working in the field. As a world-leading supermodel, Miss Wake's appearance is unique and she has been praised for her effect on the perception of beauty throughout the fashion industry. Alec is very public about her belief in the need for diversity in modeling. She said, I believe that true beauty comes from inside you and that always shows through. I have no problem with whatever the next look is, whether it's big blonde hair and blue eyes or green hair and dark eyes. That's fine, so long as there isn't just one ideal image. Alec Weck For women in general, and those of color in particular, Alec Weck has helped transform the idea that only a select few with certain physical traits possess the desired look. She is beautiful not only outside, but also inside. Miss Weck's story has inspired and resonated with many women all over the world. Her autobiography about her overcoming the odds, entitled Alec from Sudanese Refugee to International Supermodel, became a bestseller and has been translated into 10 languages. This book has appealed to people worldwide and encouraged many women to be empowered. Alec not only inspires women of color, but also women in general. Today, she has become a successful fashion trailblazer and a role model for young women everywhere. Oprah Winfrey, a famous American talk show host, actress, and philanthropist, said, If Alec had been on the cover of a magazine when I was growing up, I would have had a different concept of who I was. As a former refugee, Alec Weck has proven to us that, regardless of adversity, anything is possible. She has also demonstrated that refugees can make great contributions to the countries they emigrate to and leave a lasting, positive mark on our world. A big salute to all these migrants, and Alec Weck in particular, for showing us the enormous potential of those who settle in new lands. Alec Weck what a beautiful soul, inside and out. Generous viewers, it has been a pleasure to have you with us today for our program. Up next is Who Could Actually Be Redeemed, part 6 of 11, on Between Master and Disciples, right after noteworthy news. May you see elegance and strength in nature, yourself, and all co-inhabitants on our planet. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash gpgw. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com barre oblique schedule et suprememastertv.com barre oblique gpgw. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barre inclinada schedule et suprememastertv.com barre inclinada gpgw. 
Rancangan kami menawarkan banyak bahasa. Sila kunjungi supremastatv.com/kehadapan/schedule dan supremastatv.com/kehadapan/gpgw.